to Washington to hit the Pentagon, when suddenly from Otis Air Base comes one fighter plane. Otis Air Base is in Massachusetts. Might just as well have been in Canada. That was the only fighter plane which, according to law, they all should have been up there, and not one went up. Well, that could only happen if somebody had told them to stand down, not to respond to what was, after all, their sworn duty. That's the Times of India broke the story, and then that well-known radical rag, the Wall Street Journal, also wrote about it. I thought by then, places like the New York Times would have waked up, but the New York Times is incapable of waking up to anything important. Months before 9-11, on June 1st, 2001, Dick Cheney ordered then Secretary of Defense Donald Rumsfeld to issue this order to NORAD and the Pentagon. The document revoked their standing orders to shoot down errant or hijacked aircraft and instructed them to stand down until they were given orders by the President, Vice President, or Secretary of Defense. Then on 9-11, NORAD and the Pentagon waited for over an hour while the attacks were taking place for the orders to defend America that never came. Here is Transportation Secretary Norman Mineta testifying before the 9-11 Commission about an aide coming in to the Vice President on the morning of 9-11 as what was reported as Flight 77 was approaching the Pentagon. From the exchange, it is clear that Dick Cheney was ordering an ongoing stand-down. Um, I wanted to focus just a moment on the uh, Presidential Emergency Operating Center. <clears throat> you were there uh, for a good part of the day. I think you were there with the Vice President. And uh, we had that order given, I think it was by the President, that uh, authorized uh, the shooting down of commercial aircraft that were suspected to be controlled by terrorists. Um, were you there when that order was given? No, I, I was not. I was made aware of it uh, during the time that the airplane coming in to the Pentagon, uh, there was a young man who would come in and say to the vice president, the, the plane is 50 miles out, the plane is 30 miles out. And when it got down to the plane is 10 miles out, uh, the young man also said to the vice president, do the orders still stand? And uh, the vice president turned and whipped his neck around and said, of course the orders still stand. Have you heard anything to the contrary? Well, at the time, I didn't know what all that meant. And um, the flight you're referring to is the, the one flight that came into the Pentagon. Pentagon. Vice President Dick Cheney had bound the hands of the military behind their backs, and he was refusing to cut them. On the fifth anniversary of the September 11th coup against America, thousands of citizens took to the streets of New York to expose the cover-up. The people are sick and tired of the real perpetrators of 9-11, grandstanding like heroes and using the tragedy as a pretext to turn America into an Orwellian police state. Once everybody gets here, we're gonna all get together, we're gonna go over to ground zero. We're here to get the information out. We're here to talk to the media. We're here to make sure that the official story continues to collapse. We're here to expose the terrorists, the people that really carried out 9-11, the criminals inside the military industrial complex. The vast majority of New York firefighters and police that we spoke with, off the record, said they knew that 9-11 was an inside job. Outside Glywitz. This is mainstream news, totally released. 
One of the establishment's favorite tactics to counter 9-11 truth is to claim that it hurts the feelings of the victims of 9-11 and their families to bring up alternative theories. Bill Doyle is the head of the Coalition of 9-11 Families, the largest 9-11 victims organization. He reported to us that the majority of the members of his group believe that 9-11 is an inside job and that they're sick and tired of the massive concerted effort to cover up the truth by the controlled corporate press and the government. This is a very important point because the controlled media continues to claim that victims and their families don't want questions raised about 9-11. Every single 9-11 group we've talked to wants the investigation reopened and believes that there is a cover-up at the bare minimum. Bill Christensen was formerly the head of the CIA's Department of Foreign Threat Assessment. He has said that all the evidence points towards a total inside job. Former CIA clandestine case officer Robert Steele has gone on record saying there's enough evidence to indict Dick Cheney for involvement in 9-11. In early June of 2006, we traveled to Chicago to meet with fellow 9-11 truth seekers and expose the official story as a fraud. You cannot hide the truth. You will not hide the truth. It's coming out. Your crimes are coming out. Ladies and gentlemen, 9-11 is an inside job. It's a self-inflicted war. It's a government false flag. Terror operation. Research it. More people are waking up every single day. More people realize what the stakes are. They love their families, and they understand that the government is carrying out terrorist attacks as a pretext to re-engineer America into a police state. Why? To capture us to be their political slaves, to use us as an engine of global empire, to invade the planet. While in Chicago, we had a chance to again speak with former MI5 agent Andy Michon. I'm convinced that 9-11 was an inside job. And the reasons, there are a number of compelling reasons why I think it was an inside job. Primarily, uh, the collapse of the Twin Towers, which look to me to be controlled demolitions. Um, also, the collapse of Building 7, the World Trade Center complex. Um, also the fact that the air defences were stood down that day. Um, who benefited from the attacks, of course? So there were a lot of put options put on the airlines that suffered during those attacks. So a whole range of different evidence that adds up to uh, something very, very suspicious about 9-11. I feel passionately that we need to expose the government